Hey, it's David here again, and I'm going to talk about uh, meditation. Is meditation bullshit? The best part about meditation is that the inner peace and tranquility you get from it stays with you for the rest of your day, as long as everything stays as quiet and controlled as it does during your meditation, which shouldn't be a problem. Well, um, is meditation bullshit? Well, yes and no. Yes and no. The problem with meditation is that people have expectations about what it is and what it's going to do for them. Okay, so I see an awful lot of people online talking about, oh, here is my plan for meditation, and I'm going to meditate for this long, uh, for, for the next few weeks or months. And there's always an underlying assumption that it's going to have this transformative um, effect on their life on their mentality, on their outlook, on their perception. Now, the truth is, there is nothing transformative about meditation. Right? Meditation is not an end in itself. Meditation is a way to get you to a place or to a mindset where you are clear in thought and you do see things differently. It changes, it helps change your perception. That is it. That is all it does. Now, what do I mean by that? Right, Meditation is, particularly in today's society, vitally important because we have so many distractions going on. We have all this social media, all these movies, all this music, all this entertainment, jobs that are stressful, relationships that are stressful, a million different things going on in our lives. And we're kind of bombarded with things. Right Now, with all of this um, input, like, think about it. When we were hunter-gatherers for hundreds of thousands of years, we were out in nature all the time, and we were just doing what was obvious, just hunt and gather to survive. Not really that stressful. In terms, of, it was stressful, but it was, your mission was clear. You knew what you had to do, and you just did it. But now we have all these options, all this uncertainty in life. and So, with all of that going on, meditation is basically, all it is, is a way for you to quiet your mind. Just be, become quiet, right? Become quiet. That is it. From that point, once you quiet your mind, you start to receive different perceptions, right? Your life, the way you used to see your life prior to meditation changes slightly every time you do it, okay? So, Meditation is not the thing. Meditation, in ter when it's described as this transformative thing in and of itself, is bullshit. But meditation will bring you to a place where you can start to perceive things differently, right? And you will start to look at things in your life in a different way. You start to see things that upset you before slightly differently. That is what transformation is all about. It's all about changes in perception the way you think about things, okay? So it's through that that you change, you grow, um, your life becomes easier and more enjoyable and you become more useful as a person. Um, you're more effective in what you do and you know what you need to do. So where does that leave us in terms of, what well, should I do meditation? Yes, okay, do meditation. Uh, but don't make it a chore for yourself, okay? Meditation is particularly important when you see yourself getting upset, when you know you're pissed off, when you know things are on top of you, right? When you know things are not going your way, when you know you're about to go into a spiral, okay, where you lose control and things get away from you. It's in those instances where meditation needs to be practiced to quiet the mind before you can see things differently. You can't see things differently when things are out of control if you don't quiet the mind, if you don't stop the stream of negativity that's coming at you or that you're generating through your beliefs and your thoughts. So do meditation. Don't make a chore of it. Do it regularly. And don't, don't, don't do this thing like I see an awful lot of people doing. Um, you have to meditate for half an hour a day. You have to, I, I meditate for two hours a day. So I'm really good. Just think of think of it as maybe a couple of times a day, I'm going to be still for a moment and just see where that stillness takes you. 
sit in that for as long as you feel necessary. Um, and that's it. There's no big secret to it, okay? It's not going to, you know, you're not going to uh, start seeing visions. I'm sorry to tell you, you're not going to start seeing visions. It's about your life. It's about the day-to-day -day stuff that's going on in your life. And that is what life is all about. It's That's what it's all about, okay? So let me know what you think about this. Um, and uh, <laughs> this might annoy a few people. Uh, but, you know, there is a use for meditation, but uh, it's not this voodoo magic thing that people think it is. So that's my thoughts on it, guys. And uh, I will talk to you again soon.